The National Disaster Management Organization in the Northeast region is appealing for food items and shelter for victims of the latest communal violence in the Chiripone district. The violence erupted last week Thursday at Winchike and spread to nearby communities after a disagreement between two Chikosi royal factions over the enskinment of a new chief. Nadmo has already confirmed 27 houses as well as several tons of stored grains and other foodstuff were set ablaze during in the confrontations four young men were also gunned down and five other persons including a military man are currently receiving treatment speaking during a visit to the affected communities the regional nadmo director john quickwell hassan said any further delay in providing food assistance to the victims could result in acute hunger he joins us via zoom with more mr Kweku, i'm grateful for your time how severe is the situation as we speak well, uh, the situation is very bad because uh, yesterday uh, the Northeast Regional uh, Minister, who doubles as the Chairman of the Regional Security Council, led a uh, team to the conflict center. Uh, our first point of call was uh, uh, to meet with the, the Chepuni family. He is the traditional uh, overlord of the Chepuni area. And then from there, we moved to the conflict center. And then what we saw was very sad and very pathetic. To see that uh, food that uh, people are supposed to eat was burned down. Houses were completely raised down. A lot of properties were destroyed. Uh, de destroyed, And in fact, it was a sad situation. And so yesterday, uh, uh, we, 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 uh, even before we went there, uh, our men on the ground had done some assessments and we yes. also went there to do some validation of the report that they brought to us. About 445 yeah. people yeah. are currently displaced. Yeah. They are they, they, they going to live with their relatives in, in some villages, and it's not been easy. So, yesterday, we used your medium to appeal to uh, philanthropic organizations and donor partners to actually come to the aid of the people. It's not easy at all because they are mainly farmers, and you can imagine if your food staffs are completely bent, what, what are you going to eat? You know, uh, uh, we are already. Uh, the privilege. So if such things are come to add up, it becomes a very difficult uh, situation for us to cope, to cope with. So we are still appealing to people, individuals, churches, mosques, and some other organizations if they can come in to support the people, that would be very good enough. Mm. Mr. Alassan, what has NADMO done so far to cushion the affected people? You know, when there is a conflict, first of all, we have to make sure that there's peace in the area before Nadmo can move in. You get that. So, uh, you know, uh, the, the uh, uh, area is very scattered. And so Nadmo will have to take his time to do proper assessment to be able to determine uh, the property that are destroyed. You know, in this situation, a lot of uh, about four persons lost their lives, and a military officer was also shot. And some people also sustained a lot of injuries. So, we needed to put all of this report together before we'll be able to uh, uh, tell what kind of assistance the people will need. And even besides that, NADMU in the Northeast region and then the Cherpony Municipal Assembly in our own small way yesterday, we were able to organize some uh, used clothing, uh, blankets and other uh, stuff for the people. That is for the, in the, 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 in the entry. But uh, we are still mobilizing and uh, we our headquarters, I know, we will uh, respond to the plight of these uh, victims. But what I'm saying is that, you know, government has an enormous responsibility to deliver. The government alone cannot do it. So I'm calling on donor partners and philanthropic organizations to come to the aid of these uh, victims. Well, you say that um, there is the urgent need for assistance. What kind of assistance um, do you need as NADMO, for instance, to help uh, secure these victims? We need assistance in terms of food. We need assistance in terms of uh, because the people. We have to restore them back to their normal uh, status. You know, the houses are destroyed, and very soon the rains will come. And they should be able to construct their homes such that they can uh, go back. And then uh, clothing, uh, any form of support, anything that can help bring the people back to their normal status is welcome. 
Well, so, so how soon? How soon are we looking at, you know, NADMO getting to the community to actually giving them the reliefs that they need? As I said, as for the support, uh, we have done something, but uh, we are hoping to do something in the coming days. Uh, but that alone cannot take them for a longer period. And that is why we are asking for other people to come in to support the, 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 the victims. I'm grateful for your good. time, um, um, John Kwekwalasan. You wanted to say something, Ms. Alasan? Well, uh, what I want to add is that I am, this is just a passionate appeal that I'm making to the people of the Cherponi area. Mm. We are calling on them to give peace a chance. Without peace, already the, uh, the area is underdeveloped. We need a lot of uh, infrastructure. So if we don't uh, use appropriate structures to resolve whatever differences that we have, and we want to be burning each other's houses because we are one people. And this cannot continue uh, like, like that. Is there so any collaboration people? with the security uh, services and the uh, regional security council to actually deal there with is, this? There is an effective collaboration. Because yesterday like this, the regional minister led a powerful team which comprises of uh, the police, the military, and that more, all the major stakeholders to the, the area to engage with the the people and to tell them that they should uh, give peace a chance if really we really want development to take place in our various uh, communities. So there's effective collaboration in that regard. All right. I'm grateful for your time. John Kwekwal Hassan is the Northeast Regional NADMO Director and he's been asking for support to help deal with the issue with farming in Chirponi.